Good day to you. Hello everyone, welcome back to Fern Boss. Now, the last time we finished in Stuttgart, and we're going to be starting from Stuttgart, but this time it's going to be a bit of a shorter journey. This is going to be a direct express route to Munich. And last time we also checked out the biggest bus in the Comfort Class DLC, which came to Fern Bus. We're now checking out the smallest coach in the pack which is this little beauty right here. So without further ado, let's crack on and let's get set up. Let's get her fired up. And just to get these on straight away, reading light clearance on, of course. We want the toilets on. Hostess clearance, oh my. Driver monitor, that was already on, I've just switched that off, GG. I can't read what that is because the little map thing. You've got hill hold assist, that's quite cool. And the air conditioning is there. So, we've only got five kilometers to travel to our first stop. Let's get rocking and let's get rolling. As we wait for the gate to slowly open. It just feels like your life is wasting away waiting for that gate to open. I already switched my indicator on. I'll just switch that off. There we go. Whoa, this thing turns fast. Does feel a bit more sprightly than the the bigger coach, obviously. Less weight. Come on. Oh, you're turning. Are you turning? Yeah. I'm gonna be cheeky and go for it here. Actually, the van's going straight. Oh no. Oh, we've caught. We may have caused a traffic jam here. Right, I need him to go. I need you to go. Are you gonna go past me? Please go past me. <laughs> We're off to a fantastic start here. Right, hang on. I can't back up too far. That should hopefully give him enough room to go. You can go, my friend. There's plenty of room. They really need to sort out the AI boxes for this because there is more than enough room for him to go. But we're in a bit of a jam. So, I'm just gonna... And now he goes to move forward. But let's just go for some pavement rocking and rolling. Even though there is more than enough room for the AI to actually go past you, they just stop there and it's really frustrating sometimes. But anyway, we're now on the road. We're no longer on the pavement. And we don't need to swing out so wide during these turns now because we've got a smaller bus. But yeah, we did finish up in Stuttgart last episode, taking the big mammoth coach across a few stops. So we're going to start in Stuttgart today, but we're heading from Stuttgart to Munich, which is a town I haven't actually unlocked as of yet. So we're going to be taking an express route, it's just a direct route from Stuttgart to Munich. We won't be stopping anywhere else. There we go. Arrival for 10 o'clock, it's 10 to 10 now. We are bang on time, ahead of time. Let's get pulled in here and get these passengers checked in. Hello, you beautiful people. Ah, get the door open. Even that little creak of the door opening is quite cool. Oh, didn't mean to do that. I like the dashboard though, the way it goes through all its functions like it would in real life. That's really cool. Let's have a quick look at this bus. Obviously the air conditioning's on. Looks really cool. I must admit, I do like the detail of the interiors on these buses. Anyway, let's get the luggages open. Sorry if I've just taken your head off there, sir. Don't want to open that middle door. Hello there. No, why are you checking your phone? Stop checking your phone. Put it down. Your phone is inside his arm. Your phone, I don't think you'll appreciate that. No. Why are you flexing? Why are you flexing, bro? You flexing? You want to go on this bus? You want to go? You want to go? 
You want to get checked in, don't you? Yes. Rebels, that's ticket. Business. Yes. Show me the ticket. Let's log into our Flixbus service. What's your name, my friend? You're going to Munich? Yes. Auf geht's. Auf geht's. Let's go. Mahlzeit. Bitte sehr. You're going to Munich. I'm just guessing you're on the list. Aiden? Yep. You are on the list, my friend. Hello. That's ticket. Bitte schön. John Vogel. Oh, we've got a bigger list today. Yes. Sehr freundlich. Servus. Hello there, sir. Bitte Hello. Schön. Are you on the list? Yes, you are. I know you're bottom of the list, but you can get on. Hello. Ich hoffe, ich bin hier richtig. Jetty, 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 Jetty. Yes, you're on the list, my dear. Hi there. Here, my ticket. You've got a Paderborn. No, we're not stopping them, my friend. Hello. Fahren Sie in meine Richtung? Charlie Schwaber. Schwaber? Is that how you'd say that? I'm not one percent sure. Hello there. Excuse me. Ich hoffe, ich bin hier richtig. Really? Get your bottom on the bus. Hello, my ticket. Hello, yes, your ticket. You're going to Munich. Amina! Amina, Amina, Amina. You're not on the list, but you do have a ticket. You're very welcome. Bin ich hier richtig? Lars. Danke schön. You're going on the bus, Grüezi. my friend. Bin ich hier richtig? You're going to Munich. You've got the right ticket. Are you on the list? Is your name on the list? Yes, you Danke. are. Hello there. Hi, ich hoffe, ich bin hier richtig. Stuttgart to Munich. Ciao. Yes. Tag. Ich hoffe, ich bin hier richtig. Munich. Grüezi. Here, my ticket. To Munich. Danke schön. There we go. I think that's everybody. He's going to Paderborn. This bus is not for him. Let's crack on. Let's have a look at you. Look at you. Straight on your phone. Straight on your phone. Are you on your phone? No, you're not. Everybody sitting comfortably. Hello there. How are you doing? Hello there. You're on your phone. You look very similar to the gentleman beside you. Yes, you do. Yes. Air conditioning all right for you? Are you fine? Yeah, I see you. You look comfortable. You're all beautiful. Right, let's get rocking and rolling, ladies and gents. I want to play the announcement. Hello und herzlich willkommen bei Flixbus. Wir freuen uns, dass ihr an Bord seid und wir gemeinsam unser heutiges Reiseziel ansteuern. Bevor wir richtig in Fahrt kommen, hier ein paar Hinweise. Auch bei uns im Bus gilt die gesetzliche Anschnallpflicht. Bitte schnallt euch deshalb während der gesamten Fahrt an. In den Sitztaschen vor euch findet ihr unsere Bordkarte mit weiteren Sicherheitshinweisen und Infos zu unserem Snack und Getränk. I know we're leaving early, but it's okay. Eine Toilette befindet sich im hinteren Einstiegsbereich. Wer kostenlos hey, ich würde gerne ins Internet gehen. Das in unser WLAN-Netz ein. Unser Reisetipp fürs Internet. Schaut doch mal auf unserer Facebook-Page vorbei. Come on, you forgot to put Wi-Fi on. Riesig über eure Likes und Nachrichten. Sollte euer Akku zu neige gehen, kein Problem. Viele unserer Sitze sind mit Steckdosen ausgestattet und entsprechend gekennzeichnet. So könnt ihr euer Smartphone die gesamte Fahrt über nutzen. Wenn ihr euer Smartphone nutzen wollt, holt euch ein Tonnen und profitiert von exklusiven Online-Angeboten. Auf Flixbus.de alle Infos und Städteverbindungen für euch bereit. Natürlich wollen wir unseren Service ständig weiter verbessern. Für Feedback zu eurer Fahrt nutzt bitte den Fragebogen, den wir euch per E-Mail zuschicken. Wir danken für eure Aufmerksamkeit und wünschen eine entspannte Fahrt und viel Spaß an Bord bei Flixbus. Hello and welcome to Flixbus. We're glad to have you on board and that we can get you to your favorite destination today. Come on. Before we set off, there we to share some information about the journey. Oh, red light. Wearing of seat belts is compulsory on board the bus. Therefore, please keep your seat belt fastened throughout light. the entire journey. Oh. With the seat pocket in front of you, you will find our I'm slipping the pavement. Why are they not going? I'm sure they're agreeing. And details of our snacks and beverages. There's a restroom located in the rear boarding area. Oh God. If you would like to browse the internet free of charge, simply log on to our onboard Wi-Fi network. If your battery runs out, there no we go. I think it was the other light that was a green. With power outlets, which are marked accordingly. If you would like to book your next journey while you're on the road, simply download our app on your green. smartphone so you can take advantage of our many exclusive online discounts. For more information, simply visit flixbus.com or get in touch with us on Facebook. Of course, we're always striving to improve our service. Please use the questionnaire we send you by email to give us feedback about your journey. You can also use it to share your suggestions, ideas and requests. We are always ready to assist. And now, we can finally set off. Thank you for listening. 
We hope you have a relaxing journey and enjoy traveling with Flixbus. Ah, the never ending struggle of traffic lights. We're just waiting and waiting and waiting. There we go. We have been set free by the green light. It's the green light of destiny. It has set me free. Right, where are we going here? Are we going straight on? I think we might be going straight on. Ooh, we're going in a big loopy circle. To head on to the motorway. Hopefully the passengers are much happier now that they've got their Wi-Fi, because, you know, obviously don't have too much mobile data back there. I'm looking at you, mister. Yeah. You were up to something there, weren't you? Yeah, I seen you. Oh, I'm watching you. Eyes on the road, driver. Yes. So, as we leave the boundaries of Stuttgart, let me guess that he's going to just pull out. He's got plenty of time to pull out anyway. And we head towards Munich. The controls are pretty much exactly the same as the bigger coach. Exact same driver layout. Now, as that traffic light is red, I will just slow down a little bit. Oh, yes. Just to make sure there is nothing coming. We're good to go. As we swing round here. Getting ready to join the motorway. Bound for Munich. So as I say, I've never visited Munich before in this game so far. I thought, if we finished in Stuttgart last one. Is it so hard to drive straight? Well, when you're turning a corner, it's very hard to drive straight. I do apologise for uh, going round that corner too quickly though, my dear. I shall endeavour to be a bit more gentle with the steering. Everybody's going really slow up ahead, this worries me. I think I'm going to go for an overtake. Oh yes, rocking and rolling. Let's get the cruise control on. Now look at that, I, I pull out into the fast lane and everybody just decides to speed up. Why you do this? Actually, that's a bit tight. That's a really bit tight. Woohoo! Didn't want to upset my passengers too much, so I slowed down a little bit. And we're speeding, and we're speeding. Chill out, chill out! It says 60 kilometers, but we're doing 80. It's all right, it's fine. I'm already upsetting my passengers. I mean, I feel so bad, I feel guilty. I'm not giving them Wi-Fi, I'm driving on the pavement, I'm speeding. I'm such an irresponsible bus driver. I like this where the road sort of forks off in two directions. 120 speed limit! We must be on like an autobahn section. Let's see what this little coach can do then. As we're sitting at 94 kilometers climbing the hill. Hello fellow bus driver. Let's all give them a wave as we pass by. For all those sitting at the back of the coach, give them a wave. So it looks like we're still struggling for a bit of speed as we continue to climb the hill. We're sitting bang on 90 kilometers an hour. As we head up the hill. Still on 90. But we are catching up on this lorry, which we will hopefully overtake. 92 kilometers, 94. 96, must be levelling out a bit. Come on. Let's see how quickly this baby can go. Can we get 120 kilometres out of this? Hello there, sir. Oh, I thought that was a speed limit change there when I seen that road sign. But it wasn't. Hello, man in a truck. You're about to be overtaken. da 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 -da 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 keep an eye on Jeffrey back there, he's up to something. Let's also keep our eyes on the road. 120. Oh, it's changed to 100 kilometers. Let me hit the cruise control then. Lock us in at 100. Let me move back over to this lane. As we fire on down the motorway towards Munich with 178 kilometers to go. 
It's 25 to 11 with the arrival time of 10 to 1. Interesting, interesting, interesting. That Audi A4 just firing down the outside lane there. I'm curious to see when the speed will change now. Is this BMW going to pull out? Is he going to get up to speed really quickly? Because I'd really like that to happen. I really want the speed to change because I want to see if we can get 120 kilometers out this little coach. Be interesting to see if we can. Still 100 kilometers. I'm watching the speed limit like a hawk. I'm just getting ready to put the foot down. See what happens. More trees, more greenery, more green. Right, we're gonna have to go for an overtake here. Yeah. We are blasting along the motorway quite consistently here. But the little coach does feel, obviously, a lot more nimble on the steering side of things. Feels like it turn turners corners? Turns corners a lot easily. A lot more easily, even. As you can see, my English has not improved. <laughs> I'm just butchering my, uh, butchering the words, trying to get them all out at once. But yeah, the little coach does feel nice to drive. Feels a bit more nimble, but still has that little sort of delay on the throttle. That I was getting with the the larger one, but I'm putting that down to the automatic gearbox anyway. Do not go for it, you absolute nutter! I mean, why do they why do they pull out like that? Why is that even a thing? If that was in like Euro Truck Simulator, they would hold back and they wouldn't pull out in front of you like that, not when they're so close. That's a little bit annoying. Just one of those little sort of fern bus niggles. Just sometimes you get little things that, that can be a little bit frustrating in this game. The game does have mixed reviews on Steam. Some positive, some negative, and some of them a bit like myself, like I, I enjoy the game for what the game is. It's a lot of fun to play. And obviously now with getting more sort of um, content for the game is always good. The game is solely Germany at the moment, but there is Austria, France and Switzerland planned for the game as well, as far as I know. I think Switzerland is going to be the first DLC that we get for this game seen some screenshots of that and it does look really promising, it looks really really nice. Winding mountainous roads with big coaches should be a really interesting combination and a lot of fun to drive. That's definitely something to look forward to. But as we continue on down the motorway we haven't experienced any more idiots so far. And I see the roadwork sign up ahead. I'm still waiting for this uh, motorway speed limit to change, but we're still locked in at 100 kilometers, whilst everybody else flashes past us. Hundred and twenty limit, that's fine, we're, we're at 100 anyway, so I need to slow down here. Not too much, should be okay here. Whoa! Das ist kein Echtest! That was a little bit tight, and we're speeding. We're speeding. Whoa, slow down. I think it may have dipped a wheel just on the side of the road or something. As you can see, when it comes to road works, the roads are very, very narrow. You run the side of the coach so close to the barriers. I'm just going to slow down a little bit more as well. I'm just going to try and keep it more on lane here. Yeah, there we go. This is a bus and kein horsey boat im Sturm. <laughs> a bus and not a boat in a storm. Thank you for that, sir. I thought it was captain in a ship. I thought it was the perfect storm. 
So yeah, I think just dipping the wheel beside that, that sort of road work line, it's like it's running off the edge of the road. And obviously passengers don't like that. But we're free of road works. <laughs> and let's continue on. 100 kilometers, speed limit. Come on, give me 100. There we go, lock in the cruise control. And can we go for an overtake here? I think we can, yeah. Can't see anything coming. Forward planning and all that, looking ahead. Hello, people. Yeah, it's coming through, coming through. 84 kilometers to go until Munich then. It's not gonna take us too long to get there at all. Look at that, 81 already. We're just blasting away the miles. Let's head back over to the inside lane. slow moving uh, red lorries up ahead. I'm gonna just move into the middle lane straight away. Oh I say slow moving, they're moving at lorry speed I guess. But sometimes it's funny to actually go through a set of roadworks behind one of these lorries in game. Because they sort of, they follow almost like they're on rails. So the trailer actually sometimes hits the barrier and sort of pings into the air for a few seconds and then comes back down again. It looks really, really strange if you're following it. Passing truck number two. Hello there! Yes. Oh. Almost a wee bit of veering. 54 kilometers to go. We are flying, ladies and gentlemen. We are flying. Heading on down. That looks quite cool. Kind of reminds me of that tower that's in Berlin. I know it's not the same, but it kind of gives me that same sort of... same sort of tower vibe. Do we have a turn off for Munich yet? No, we don't. Straight on up ahead. I'll tell you one thing that I really like about this game, and it's something... it's one of those sort of little attention to details things. When you actually drive on the road and you hear the changes in road surface, games, sort of, especially simulation games, it's sometimes a little thing that can be overlooked, but you always get those bumps and then the changes in road noise as you go across different road surfaces. I really appreciate little things like that. Oh, are you going to let me come across? No, you're not. Come on, hurry up and pass me then. Because I want to be in that lane. Or do I? I don't know if I do. I can see people up ahead. Oh. This is another thing that can sometimes randomly happen. Traffic that you see straight ahead just disappears. Right, I am going to come into this lane because I'm going to be turning off. And he needs to stay in that lane. There we go. As you can see, the little H point, that's our final destination. Let's not talk about final destination and motorways. We are turning off up here. Let's slow her right down. Because these passengers don't seem to like going around corners too quickly. When you're trying to be a Lewis Hamilton as a bus driver. <laughs> approaching the, the Munich city limits. We don't have to take such a wide turn here, you can just sort of take the turn almost normally. Do you quickly it just wants to fling around the turn. The turner? That's what happens when you try and combine corner and turn. You get turner. I'm trying to turn to turner. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh, the traffic light lords are looking down upon us once again. Let's rock on through the green light then. Just you stay there. How's Jeffrey getting on? Oh, he's back on his phone. Messaging people. I'm guessing that's going to be a 50 limit. Yeah, let's lock in the cruise control at 50 kilometres then. 17 kilometres remaining of this. What I actually thought would be a longer journey has actually turned out to be quite a short one. But we're going to be turning right up here. Heading into Munich. And it's a city that we will unlock. So we can start from this city in a future video, which is always good. As you visit the cities, unlock them, and unlock them, it gives you... There's that little delay again, which really can be a little bit frustrating. And there's me clipping the pavement once again. It's not taking that turn wide enough. Obviously, once you do unlock the city... Hang on, what's going on with the cars? The cars are in the ground. Freshly laid tarmac. And they've just stuck the cars into the ground. Those towers up ahead look quite cool. I like that. Right, there we go. That's full throttle and there's just that delay. Sometimes it can stop you from getting through. Oh, I've run a red. My passengers don't seem to be too interested. Which is always good. This is funky. It's getting dark. It's turning the lights. No light to dark. It's scaring me. We are going left up here. Let's slow it down a bit or my passengers will complain. Yay, no pavement clip. That's always a victory. Actually, I want to be going straight on here. Do I? Are they both going straight on? No, they're not. Let's get over into my own lane. Hey, another bus! Yeah, hello there, sir. Hope you're having a good shift. Yeah. Just turn the lights off again. I like that, the way the light comes on sort of semi-bright to start with. I think when you first switch on the lights in the car, and they kind of fade in, that's really cool. Anyway, we're only five kilometers away from our stop here. I'm not sure what I'm doing here. I think I'm turning here. Am I kind of going in like a sort of loop? need to turn across this busy sort of street thing here though. Come on. Please release me. Oh wow, that truck just spawned in. Wow, the, the traffic is just spawning in left, right and centre. How am I meant to get the chance to go? If you're just going to spawn in people. And you're going to block the road. And I have nowhere to go. Really? Okay, so this is one of my... This is one of the things that I've encountered a couple of times. Playing Fernbus. Traffic will spawn in even after the other traffic has cleared. So what I kind of have to do now is... Basically just force my way through. I need, yeah, this is basically what you just have to do, you've got to force the traffic to stop. Which is really frustrating. Oh, I've got to turn left, I can't turn right, okay. Oh, it's like a really cool terminus thing, okay. Well, we've arrived in Munich a lot quicker than I actually expected us to arrive in Munich. That's quite cool, actually, with the bus individual sort of, uh what do you call them? Bus stands. Yes. I'd like to see quite some buses in there and maybe like people walking around. I know that's kind of like a little thing, but you know. As 
we swing round here, let's slow down a little bit so passengers don't fall out their seat. Because Jeffrey's still texting on his phone. Jeffrey, my man, Jeffrey. Hello there. I think that's an MEN coach right there. I'm sure it's one of the MENs. Anyway, we have arrived. Munich unlock, that's always good to see. So there we go. Knock her into neutral. Let's get the doors open. Let's get their luggage out. There you go, ladies and gents, and by the power of teleportation. Oh, you're already there. Wow, okay. No, you don't want to say thank you. You don't want to say thank I didn't say thank you. I didn't say thank you. I opened the doors for them to get their luggage off this bus. Damn it. Oh, there we go. I'm going to put all of that off. Oh, I didn't play the announcement. Or did I? I think I did. Look how quiet things get when you close the door. And when you don't have the air conditioning blasting. But anyway, there we go. That's going to finish off another episode of Fernbus. I know it was a bit of a quicker journey today, but the last one turned out to be quite long. But anyway, I'm going to get out of here. If I remember how to even... Yeah, I know what I'm doing. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this one. And if you did, consider giving it a cheeky little thumbs up. But until next time, guys... And of course girls. Take care, stay safe, I'll catch you all in the next one. This is Liquid, signing off. <laughs>